Marinette hasn't come around here for a while. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. It's just that she... she... she's got a lot of stuff going on. You can be honest with me, you know? She stopped showing up because she knows I'm in love with her, right? Of course not, Luca! Marinette stopped coming because rehearsals at the exact same time as her off a pony classes with Pom Pony, her favorite pony! Pom Pony is so cute with his golden mane that's so brushable, but he's also super sensitive, and anytime Marinette misses Aqua Pony, Pom Pony gets depressed! Oh. I get it. Rose, thanks. Wow, Rose. I know, but we couldn't tell him that Marinette is too embarrassed to see him. It would have broken his heart. We've got to find a way to patch things up between them so they can see each other and be buddies again. We can all be buddies, right? Oh, I know. Luca could go to Aqua Pony class with Marinette. You know that Aqua Pony is not real, don't you? Oh, yeah, right. I'm sure we can mm. figure out a way to get Luca and Marinette together. Something that Marinette has to come to. Where they'll talk to each other. And be buddies again. Hey, aren't we all going to see the Rockin' Monster Party Parade together this Saturday? What if, instead of going to the movies, we had a party? Right here on the houseboat for Julika's birthday and Luca's. Of course, since they're twins, it's Luca's birthday too. Which means he'll be there. And Marinette. Wait a sec, Adrian can't come this Saturday. He's got a fashion show. Perfect. If Adrian shows up, Marinette wouldn't be able to take her eyes off him. And she might act. Well, you know. I'll help set up. I'm on music. And I'll take care of Marinette. What do you think, Julika? Awesome idea, right? I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, June. You're the best. <laughs> a party on the houseboat for Julika's birthday? Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, Alia Cesare. We were supposed to go to the movies for Julika's birthday, but now we're having a party on the houseboat. And since Luca is Julika's twin, it's also his birthday, which means he'll be there. But you thought I'd never figure that out and would end up on the houseboat with him. And since the houseboat is on the river, I'd have no way of leaving and I'd be forced to talk to him. It's a trap. Okay, girl, you're really good. No wonder you're Ladybug. Oh yeah, you can't do this to me. No, you can't do this to Luca. You've been avoiding him for too long. You have to talk to him. Just because you're not together doesn't mean you can't still be friends. But it'll be so awkward. You know that Luca's in love with me, but I'm in love with Adrian. And every time we see each other, he just ends up getting hurt all over again because he knows I'll never feel the same. Overdoing it a little. You got to comatize twice because of me. Yeah, but things are different this time. If that happens, once you, I mean Ladybug, saves him and gives him the magical charm, he'll never get acomatized again. And then you guys can try to be friends again. You can't say no to that. It's your duty. Uh, okay. Come aboard, Zoe. Zoe's about to toss Dupen Chang's macaroons right into the set. It's going to be spectacular. Let me introduce you to everyone. Guys, this is Zoe. She just arrived here from New York. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm really sorry about today. I thought that if I did everything Chloe wanted me to, then she'd accept me. I just wanted to meet my family's expectations, which is why I left New York in the first place. At the boarding school, I was playing a part, being someone else, hoping they'd accept me. But finally, I just couldn't anymore. That's when everyone turned against me. And then one day, I found roaches in my locker. They all said I was a loser. Maybe they were right. I get that I'm different. And I'd understand if you guys didn't want me as a friend. Huh? <laughs> we're all one big happy family. You'll be fine with us. You'll never have to leave again, Zoe. Welcome to Paris. Wait, wait, what is she doing? Ew! Don't eat that! You're going to get infected with their lightness! I order you to fire her! Daddy, order her to return my shoes at once! <sighs> and I demand that she be sent back to New York immediately, exactly the way she came! Of course, of course. Uh, however... Is there a problem, Andre? Well, what I mean is, with all the paperwork needed to enroll her in another boarding school, we won't be rid of her for months. Uh, maybe we could just uh, put her somewhere else? In the cellar. Excellent idea. In the cellar. Or at least in a room in another wing of the hotel. Well, a smaller room than mine. Oh, of course. Minuscule. Barely the size of a junior suite. And see to it that we never cross paths again. She'll take the service elevator with the staff. Hmm. Thank you. 
Promise me that you won't leave your dreams too long down in that cellar. I promise. Come on. You're going to love your new room. Oh. Zoe sent me a text. Thank you for everything. You were right. I can be myself here, because you and the others will always be there for me. For the first time in my life, I actually feel at home. I never thought you'd be so chill about seeing Luca again. See how brave Marinette's being, Julica? It's nothing. You gotta get over things in life. Grow up a bit. Sorry again for asking you to do this, but thanks for getting Luca out of here, Julica. I couldn't handle this otherwise. Is he okay, by the way? I hope he didn't take it too hard. Hey, Marinette. Excuse me, sorry! I, uh, I've got something to do! It's super urgent! Down in the hold! Yep, bye! I'm okay. Is something wrong with Marinette? Huh? What's going on, Julie? Where is she going? Uh, is there a problem? Is she okay? What's wrong with her? Uh, it's just that, um... <laughs> Jewel! I knew it. Marinette doesn't want to have anything to do with me. And Julika didn't have the heart to tell me. Disillusion of a young man who hoped that a friendship with a faded love could be rekindled. Fly away, my little Akuma. Go evilize that heart! It's not like that. You know how she gets around awkward situations. She doesn't hate you, she's just Marinette. And Jewel didn't say anything because she didn't want to hurt you. She was trying to protect you. Everyone loves you here. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for everything. How strange. The negative feelings have disappeared. But stay where you are, my little Akuma. A party with teenagers always makes for a party of strong emotions. Julika! Why is he here? You couldn't tell him, could you? A young girl disappointed in herself and wrecked with guilt. Of course you couldn't tell him. I asked you to do the impossible. I'm so sorry, Julika. Again? What's going on? Hey, kids! Everything jamming! Oh. Hi, Dad. Sorry I'm tardy to the party, son. You have any wrapping paper I could borrow? Uh, hang on. Jagged Stone is the father of... Luca and Julica? A group of friends surprised to find out that two of them have been keeping secrets. That's so awesome! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I should have guessed. Oh, yeah, he's my dad. What? Jagged Stone is your father? But why would you think he doesn't love you and likes your brother better? Mm -hmm. You'll see, she's a real beauty. A sound that'll make your head spin. So you better hide it, okay? And not a word to your sister. <sighs> ah, a young girl whose biggest fears have come true. And what could be worse than not being loved by your own father? Hang on, Julika. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. You need to talk to your dad. That's how problems get solved. Jagged! Ah! Marinette! Hi, Luca. Yes, I know we need to talk, and we will, but don't worry. But right now, I need to talk to your dad! Jagged! You can't just give an amazing electric guitar to your son and nothing... <laughs> nothing... <laughs> and nothing to your daughter! Hey, thanks a lot for your incredible discretion, Marinette. Rock and roll! Actually, this was supposed to be a surprise gift for Julika. Julika plays bass for Kitty Section, right? So I thought it'd be cool if I gave her the very first bass I ever owned. Uh, Happy birthday, Julika. Thank you. <sighs> and of course, I've got a present for my two kids. My gift for Luca was this original edition of the first LP from Croco Duo, the group I had with their mom. <sighs> Happy birthday, Luca. Jagged Stone, you really are a shipwrecker. How dare you come here and give my son the album that caused our breakup? Caused our breakup? You mean the album to help me get my life back after you left me? You got a lot of nerve, pirate. You were the one who left no, me. No, you were. <laughs> Finally, two fractured lovers full of resentment and anger. <sighs> you 
shipwrecker. It's your fault we got akumatized. Are you kidding? You were the one who was completely off key. Stop! Huh? Now, you are going to apologize and make up by talking, not yelling. But he was the one who. No one cares. The past is the past. I'm sorry, Nanaki. I was wrong. No, you old pirate. It was me. No, it's my Julica, fault. Julika, you it's rock. Mine. No, really, it was me. No, me. I'm telling you, it was my fault. My fault. No, it's mine. 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 Julika, I know I haven't been playing to your tune, but you know, whatever you want to say to me, I'm all ears. I love you, Dad. You rock my world too. What about you, Marinette? When are you gonna finally tell Adrian how you feel? Oh, uh, Adrian? If Julica was able to make her voice heard, I'm sure you'll be able to someday, too. I'm sorry I've been avoiding you. I... You know, it hurts more not seeing you than seeing you, Marinette. Oh. Huh. Buddies? Buddies.